So this is a quick and easy rinse and repeat duplication method so you can make as many cards as you want to make money. Now it is two players, you need a second person, a friend to help you out here. So it's not solo and did you know that 95% of you are not subscribed? If this is one of you make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more GTA Online content. And let's get straight into the video. Alright, so your friend is going to need to be in the off the radar glitch. If you don't know what that is, I'll link it in the description since I made one on the channel recently. It has to be that one and I recommend you actually call in your MOC from services and bring it closer to the arena like how it is now because it will be really helpful in a later step. Especially since you're going to need it if you're going to rinse and repeat this glitch. So from here you need to enter your workshop level. You're going to need a few cars in here. And you're also going to need to have the car that you want to dupe. So the car I'm duping right now is the Weenie Izzy and you're also going to need to have the Faggio or the Faggio bike in a different garage. So by that I mean it has to be in anywhere but the clubhouse. Do not have it stored in the clubhouse or this won't work. So I'm bringing out a car right now as you can see my friend is a bit slow but they're going to get into this car right now. It doesn't matter what the vehicle settings are on or if they're a passenger as long as they can get in the car and just sit there. That's all they need to do, do the off the radar glitch and then head over to the arena and sit in your cars. That's all your friend needs to do. Alright, so from here, you need to enter back into your workshop because this is where the magic happens. We are going to be able to move our cars from inside of the actual workshop. So since our friend is sat in that car outside, you'll notice that there is something that we aren't able to do whilst inside of this workshop and that is modify a vehicle. So if I get into any random car, like this one, make sure it's not the dupe car. Make sure it's not the car you want to dupe. I'm pressing to modify the vehicle and it does not move. So what you need to do is press to modify the vehicle again. And this time you want to quickly pause and unpause and then hit the gas. And then you'll notice you're able to move around the facility. So remember, press to modify the vehicle. It won't work. That's you checking. And then you press to modify the vehicle again. And then you quickly pause and unpause and then hit the gas. You'll only need to do that the first time you do this glitch. So every time you rinse and repeat you'll need to do that for the first car. So basically the second car that I'm driving right now I did not need to do that in. As soon as you hit the gas it'll start driving. So you want to get the car door stuck in like the car that's next to the garage door. So one of them needs to be facing the garage door and then you need to use this car to block the other door. This is so we can teleport. Make sure you can teleport in and out and as you can see what I just did there was this. Make sure you can teleport in and out of the car. Make sure you get the exit menu. Then you need to press to enter the car and exit at the same time. So on PlayStation you need to press triangle and X on the same time. As you can see I'm out here. My friend is still sat in this car and I've just brought out another personal vehicle. Now this is a part of the glitch. Now from here you want to actually get a lot of distance between this area so you need to move away from these cars so you can follow exactly where I go in this video which is just over here I need to run like a good distance away so I can call in my Faggio bike now I can do this from my motorcycle club so that's what I'm gonna do you should do it from your motorcycle club that's the only way you should do it so I'm a good distance away so I'm gonna call in the Faggio that's stored not in my clubhouse right so as you can see it won't spawn on the map if you did it correctly now from here you have to enter the workshop once more because this time we are going to grab the dupe vehicle. So this is it. This is how easy it is to dupe one car everyone. So you just need to enter and this time we are going to be using our dupe vehicle. We're going to block the doors on the dupe vehicle. So as you can see I'm blocking the door on one side which is the garage side and now I'm going to bring out another car to block the other door so we can teleport just as I said before we just need to make sure we can teleport into that car whilst we exit okay so make sure you can teleport just like that so you don't actually move any of the doors to get in go on the exit menu and press to exit and to enter the car at the same time on your controller and as you can see we've drove out now sometimes the other car that you uh, drive out beforehand will still be here but I'm guessing since my AC drove onto where the other car was it kind of despawned it but anyway my friend is still sat in that car which is good because this is where we get the clean dupe. We turn to exit that car it will disappear and now this AC right now is a clean dupe because he just exited the car right there. 
to go over to your MOC and store it inside. All right, so once it's stored inside, you have successfully duped the Weenie SE or whichever car you was duping. That's all it is. But now I'm gonna show you how to do it if you want to rinse and repeat this glitch. So you just wanna enter this car. You want to drive this car outside and this is going to be the car that your friend gets in now. It's as easy as that. He's going to get in this car and you can repeat the steps from the. So your friend gets into this car and then you are going to need to do the modify vehicle thing once again since you have just successfully duped it so you want to enter the warehouse i'm going to show you how to move the first car one more time please make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe as this does help out the channel and you get something in return which is gt online content and red dead online content weekly where i'm going to be showing the best dlc showcases and glitches as possible and right now we are walking up to the car that we want to move so as you can see, it did work because my ISSI is still in here and there is one outside, so it did dupe. Press to modify the vehicle, it will do nothing on this first one. Press to modify again, then pause and done pause quickly, hit the gas and you can move the car. So if you're wondering, these vehicles sell for around 1.7 mil as you're about to see on screen. Make sure to avoid the daily sell limit, which is no more than 7 cars a day. Make sure you only sell 2 within an hour and you should be fine. This will reduce your chances of getting caught and I'll see you in the next video.